What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back Forest fans, welcome back football fans. We are now a Premier League club. We did it, we made it, we won the playoffs, we won at Wembley, we beat Huddersfield. We started very, very strongly in the transfer window. Nia Carte, Dean Henderson, Tylo Awani, um, Bianconi, Neko Williams, Omar Richards. But today, well, sorry, the news broke out yesterday evening that Forrest was looking at a potential deal for Jesse Lingard. Whether they were just snooping around him. Then they obviously West Ham still want him and, and that deal was that's always going to be in the pipeline in it, Jesse Lingard to West Ham because of his loan spell. Um what two years ago, whatever it was. But then it gave, it went from Forrest was looking at Jesse Lingard to Forrest and now speaking to Jesse Lingard's representatives. And then all of a sudden it's now Forrest are in pole, pole position to sign Lingard. They've offered him a lucrative deal. And um, I'm just going to have a bit of a discuss about it. Now, obviously, bringing Jesse Lingard to the club is going to cost a lot of money. Even though he's a free transfer, his wages are not going to be cheap. He's been a Manchester United player for his whole, whole life. He's had a few loan spells in his career, but he's been at Manchester United his whole life. He is used to get pay in, paid the big bucks to play football. Whether he played football or not in the past, uh, or sit in the or sat on the bench or not played at all, he has been used to be getting paid big. The reason I believe this has come about with Forrest is that West Ham do not want to pay him what he and his team want. Uh, which is fair enough. If if West Ham don't want to do that, they don't want to do that. Um maybe he should drop his asking uh, like his, his weekly wage down. To guarantee him some football, especially at a club like West Ham. But all of a sudden, Forrest heard the news that West Ham wasn't going to offer him a, a big amount of money or close to what he was after. And Forrest said they will. Um, now, there's not many pros to this, financially wise. Um, there's a lot of cons. So we'll go over them now. So the first one is obviously it's a lot of money to be paying a player, especially if we're going to be in a relegation scrap. If we go down, he's still going to be on our books next year. We'll obviously get rid of him if we if we ever drop down to the championship. But it's still a lot, a lot of money. Uh, the fee that's being thrown around is anywhere between 150 to 180 k. I don't think it'll be that high. I think it will be over the hundred mark, but I don't think it'll be that high. Um, the second one is if he comes into that change room, our highest pay player at the minute is obviously Dean Henderson on loan. Which Forrest were paying a good amount for, but going to permanent plays, your Joe Ward, your Ryan Yates, is, they're, they're probably not on more than 20 to 25, 30k ish if they've had, um, if they had any bonuses in the contracts a week. Now, if you bring Jesse Lingard in on 100 plus grand a week, then they will surely be turning around saying, well, he can get paid that. Why can't I get paid that? So that's the, the only thing that bothers me financially wise if it causes a bit of like an uproar in the uh, changing room. But let's go away from the financial side of things. Jesse Lingard is a top, top Premier League footballer. Like he could very well play in the top 10 teams in the Premier League every single season, have a good turnout. Maybe his motive to join Forest is financial. That's fair enough. If if that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. Um, but I also believe Steve Cooper doesn't want people at the club if they don't want to play for the club. So I don't think they'd be going for this deal if Jesse Lingard wasn't prepared to work hard for the club, work hard for the team uh, and, and get his head down. Uh, so that is what I trust in Cooper and Murphy. that they, they value the attitude of the player and how they are and the characteristics much more than they're actually f football and ability um, because they need to gel with the team and Dave Murphy mentioned it when we were going into this window about camaraderie with the team. We need to keep it together. Um, the financial side of Lingard, like I mentioned with the with the dressing room, could it throw it? Maybe, but a player like Jesse Lingard coming in to any club is gonna is gonna boost them, and especially Forrest, who need an attacking midfielder badly. We've we've not got one at the minute. Obviously, we've been linked with Gibbs White. That doesn't seem like it's gonna go for. I, I think he, he, Everton may get that one done. Um, but Lingard 
let's not kid ourselves. And I've seen some people on Twitter saying that they wouldn't want him because of the financial. He's not good. That's, you might as well just go and spend thirty million on Gibbs White. Fair enough, that's your opinion, but the facts are facts. Jesse Lingard has played at the top of the Premier League for the last four or five years, I would say. He's still only what late twenties, so he's he's not exactly old. Um, obviously, Gibbs White has more of a, a future on his side than than Jesse Lingard, but Jesse Lingard has been there, done it. He had a hell of a season when he went on loan to West Ham. A hell of a season, um, and hopefully, he'll be looking to replicate something like that at Forest. Let's let's hope so, but I'm not too sure if the deal is done or not. Like I said, we are in pole position to sign him. West Ham still want him, but I don't think they're going to be prepared to match what Forest are going to pay him. So then it's down to Jesse Lingard. Does he go for a team he already knows? He's played under David Moyes. He was there two years ago, had a very good season, helped them to try and get back into Europe. Or does he come to Forest financially motivated? Um, obviously, there'll, there'll be some football motivation there. He wants to come and help a team. Obviously, Dean Henderson being at the club, he would have spoke to James Garner about last season and the season before that. Um, but... Jesse Lingard is a hell of a sign if Forrest can pull this off. If Forrest can pull this off, we are serious about hitting mid-table marks in the Premier League. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm here all for it. In my opinion, I would go all out to go and get Jesse Lingard. If that falls through, then you go all out to go and get Morgan Gibbs-White. But at this moment in time, Jesse Lingard is a free agent. Go out and get him. Pay him, not stupid amounts, but pay him close enough to what he wants to be paid to get the deal over the line and get Jesse Lingard in a forest shirt. That is my opinion. Your opinions will be different. Let me know in the comments down below if you would sign Jesse Lingard or not. It's been a, it's been a big factor on Twitter at the minute. A lot of people saying yes, but there is some people saying no, um, which is fair enough. But let me know down in the comments below. And that's going to do it for this video. I'll be back again shortly with a uh, probably a Huddersfield twist on this one. Anyway, see ya.